I mean, just barbecue at Moses' tent, you know. <laughs> it was, yeah, but only the elders were there. Mm. Only the elders were invited. Okay. But it was probably, you know, roasted quail and manna. So <laughs> it's, like, it's not like it's going to be anything great. It wouldn't be all right to eat. Okay. Well, you could if it was, uh, if it was um, mm, a good offer. Smell goat. Yeah. But it does say that they came to eat bread. Moses father didn't say anything about Aaron came to all Mine the elders eat a meal. Eat bread. Mine just says bread, so yeah. I just wonder what. What verse are we in? No. What verse is that, Donna Joe? Um, twelve. Twelve. 12. 12. Yeah, mine says bread too. Yeah, the verb provided an animal for a sacrifice. It says brought. The verb means they brought an animal for the sacrifice. He brought one of his sheep probably from Midian. And they all like were dying because they're eating well on the hog at Moses' tent, but everyone else is eating quail. You know, I, just, I don't just, anyway, so never mind. High on the sheep. High on the sheep, high on the yeah. hog. No, <laughs> yeah, the no hog. They talked about how how people were, how horrible people were that ate the eggs or the hog or the sacrifice. Yeah. But, uh, but those were. Um, we'll have to check into it. But the way that the pagan sacrifices. Oh, okay. Because um, it's, well, Paul tells us uh, it was okay after God said we could eat it, but there was a period of time where they were forced to eat the pagan sacrifice food, and that was against the Jewish uh, laws. So they so just ate bread. Check. They didn't eat the meat that they well, cooked. Well, but a lot of, a couple versions say eat a meal, mm -hmm. and a couple mm -hmm. versions mm -hmm. say eat bread. Eat bread with. Yeah. And maybe they're they're pertaining to breaking bread with people, which is sitting down having a meal with somebody. Hard to say. Hmm. What we'd have to do is we'd have to go to the Hebrew and say and see what it actually said. And then we get to the part where Jethro comes up with a great idea. Jethro says, They're working too hard, Moses. Well, um, let's go to verse 23. Jethro tells us, if you do this and God so commands, you will be able to stand the strain. So, I think here's where Jethro gets the idea, probably from God, and then goes back to verse 23 and says, if God says it's okay, then you'll be okay. So when it says that Moses listened to his father-in-law and did everything he said, means that he must have asked God. I think so. Okay. And then that's confirmed, to me at least, in verse 23. It was kind of like the apostles did when they were overworked. They kind of delegated services to other people so they could preach and teach. Like when they had, when the, um, the, the Greek widows weren't getting enough food, the apostles said, we can't take time off of preaching to do this. We're going to have to find seven other guys. And they found seven other guys who were better at distributing food so they can keep preaching, these guys can focus on anything else. It's almost like setting up a government type thing where yeah. Moses is the Supreme Court and everybody else takes care of the little stuff. Yeah. That's what it yeah. reminded me of when they were telling how they were going to set it up. Yeah, let, let the capable men uh, who are trustworthy take care of the little stuff and the difficult cases bring the Moses. So is this where Judges starts to come in because we hear the word for the first time, Judges? No, Judges was um, for a different situation. Okay. Where um, God, the people were complaining for kings, and oh. God says, you're not going to get kings, I'll give you judges instead. Okay. Then you will not some kings anyway, and we'll have that turns out. 
Okay. With a couple million people, there's probably lots and lots of conflicts. You and take care of them. Well, you know, what are they going to steal? I mean, they, they did have all like, the stuff from the Egyptians, so they could steal that. They, and considering the, the Hebrews like to argue, well, the relationship, <laughs> yeah, there was probably a lot of fighting over what, who knows. Well, they're, they're probably spent. They're already tired. So they're fighting over something so silly and it needless. But that's, just, I know. <laughs> they're, right, it just, but. We got a long way to go. Was up to like partying. <laughs> yeah, short fuses. <laughs> right, yeah. Your tent is next you know, to my tent, and he <laughs> snores. That's all he does. He touched you. <laughs> he snores all night. I hear it all the way over the other side of the tent. Let's put his tent outside the circle. You know, I can hear it, yeah. And then Moses sent his father on his way, and Jethro returned to his own country. Mm -hmm. So God put Jethro in Moses' path to leave him, and he sent him back home. But we don't know. contact in the Bible with Jethro. Probably. So we don't know if he was converted. We believe he was. I think so. I think he was. Okay. Yeah, he made that statement. Right. Because yeah, he believed that it was one God. Yep. Because look to verse 11 and 12. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all right. other gods. Mm -hmm. For he did this for Israel. Right. And then in verse 12, he brings a burnt offering and other sacrifices to God. So I'm positive that that tells us that Jethro was then... Do mm -hmm. you think the Israelites brought their gods out of Egypt with them? It's probably still out there until... Probably. I think they still have them in their packs. Mm -hmm. Probably. Just in case, the backup gods. The backup yeah, gods. Yeah, we, we see they don't believe in, in Yahweh yet. Because there's no praying going on, just a lot of complaining. So we're going to see as we get farther in, where did they start believing? I think we're going to go through quite a few chapters before that happens. And Moses throws the tablets at him? I don't know. <laughs> well, how they all don't believe even today? Yeah. I mean, they're still not accepting. So what Jethro says, may God be with you. So, I mean, he has accepted God. <laughs> and what, what verse is that? Oh, where are we? Verse 17, 18, 19. Ah, perfect. Yep. Good. More proof. May God be with you. And it's a big G God. Yep. Cool. You must be the people's representative before God and bring their speech to Him. Yeah, so was, well, he was a priest, so he kind of had that down. Yeah. I mean, on 20, he gets the Ten Commandments. Chapter 20. Yep. So it's not too far after that. So what's for next week? Next week is 19, 20, 21. Is that, um, <laughs> Hit the Ten Commandments. Yeah.